women. Uh, <laughs> not all women. I, I mean the old-fashioned ones. You know, the old-fashioned women. Oh, God. You know, the ones with wombs. <laughs> oh. I think that's what comedy is for, really, to get us through stuff. And ideally, in taboo subjects, because I want to take the audience to a place that hasn't been before, even for a split second. They are ladies. Look at their pronouns. <laughs> What about this person that isn't a lady? Well, his penis. <laughs> Her penis, you f***ing bigot! <laughs> and I think that's what comedy is for, getting us over taboo subjects. They're yeah. not scary anymore, so I deal with everything. Today on The One Show, Ricky Gervais defended his new Netflix special, Supernature. Netflix have already bought this, f*** them, right? <laughs> Which is being called anti-trans. The worst thing you can say today is, women don't have penises. Right? <laughs> now, no one saw that coming. And anti gay. That's not as good as it was, is it, AIDS? No, seriously, it's like all diseases let you down, but that was, I mean, in its heyday, it was fing amazing, wasn't it, AIDS? Glad tweeted yesterday afternoon We watched the Ricky Gervais quote unquote comedy special on Netflix, so you don't have to. It's full of graphic, dangerous, anti trans rants, masquerading as jokes. He also spouts anti-gay rhetoric and spreads inaccurate information about HIV. Attention, Ricky Netflix. People living with HIV today, when on effective treatment, lead long and healthy lives and cannot transmit HIV to others. I must have missed that part. I can't show you the whole section where Ricky talks about this fable of uh, God creating AIDS, but I must have missed the part where Ricky spreads misinformation about AIDS. He actually makes a joke, or he references the fact that uh, treatment prevents the spread of HIV. So I really don't know what Glad is talking about in that kind of regard. This is God's wrath. This is God's punishment for homosexuality. Imagine thinking that. What are you imagining in your head, right, to think that's true? So you think God's in heaven, do you? And he's, he's looking down on civilization, and he suddenly goes, I'm sick of all this bumming. People saying, God, the audience take this. Of course they can. Real life's much worse. These are just jokes. Yeah. They, don't, they don't mean anything. They're just to, for you to laugh for, for an hour or so. Um, so uh, that's why I deal in taboo subjects. So this style of comedy isn't new for Ricky, but what is new is that he gets ahead of the criticism that he knew would come. So he didn't just address it the day after Supernature was released. He addressed it within Supernature. Okay, f full disclosure, in real life, of course I support trans rights. I support all human rights, and trans rights are human rights, you know? Uh, live your best life, use your preferred pronouns, be the gender that you feel that you are. But meet me halfway, ladies, lose the cock. That's all I'm saying. For Ricky, equal rights means equal sense of humour. I talk about AIDS, famine, cancer, the Holocaust, rape, paedophilia. But no, the one thing you mustn't joke about is identity politics. The one thing you should never joke about is the trans issue, right? They just want to be treated equally. I agree. That's why I include them. <laughs> you know? So I'm covering this because it's trending, it's all over social media. I don't make up news like some of you seem to think I do. You could think I have a lot of time on my hands. Um, so I turned on Supernature and was, you know, going to take note of all the anti-gay, anti-trans jokes that Ricky made. And the ones that I showed you come relatively early in the hour-long special. And that's it. By the time it was over, I was like, this is what Glad was upset about? And they were quite tame jokes. I didn't find any of the jokes offensive. They're not done in a mean-spirited way. And it tells you the world that comedians are living in that Ricky Gervais is addressing or justifying why he's telling those jokes within the same special that he's telling those jokes. I'll say the same thing that I said about Kenneth Lamar's Anti-Diaries, a song that has one of the biggest rappers in the world on one of the biggest albums of the year, revealing that his aunt and cousin are transgender. And some were upset that Kendrick didn't nail the pronouns in that song. And I said, these pop culture moments move the dial in a tremendous way in terms of acceptance. They really, really do. So if Glad is going to just criticize any straight person that is trying to be inclusive, the pendulum is going to swing way back. We're already seeing that happen. So Glad is a groundbreaking, incredible organization, but they need, they need to lighten up. I didn't find anything in Supernature offensive, but I want to hear your thoughts.